So the last one that we are going to look at is uh, poor workmanship. Okay, the kind of workmanship you deploy also affects the integrity of uh, the electrical machine after rework or rewinding. So you know this equipment. They've actually, when you look at it, this is a forty. Look, as you can see on your screen, this is a burnt. Uh, electric motor or generator okay so you see that it is burnt completely which means that you need to remove all of these windings are we getting it so remember during production it is impregnated with uh, that insulating varnish so it is very strong so most times the mistake that most uh, repair people do is that in trying to remove this winding they subject the entire equipment to further heating okay they place heavy flame the reason is that that the flame the fire will met the those uh, those lead droid or insulation paper that is used to line the slot, okay, and then destroy the insulating varnish. I will get it. But as you are doing that, okay, it will at the end of the day free the conductor in the slot to and make it easier for you to remove. Fine. But as you are doing that, remember this yoke, okay, this yoke or the core of the stator. Remember, it is made up of laminated sheets that is also separated by insulation varnish. Each of those sheets, they are insulated from one another so as to prevent eddy current from flowing across, okay, flowing across the conductor that will, at the end of the day, work against, develop a a magnetic field that will work against the useful magnetic field that you need in the electric motor or in your generator, your alternator. Now, once you destroy that, you see that these sheets that are not meant to be continuous, okay, will now be continuous because the heat will have destroyed the, the, the insulation that is separating each of these laminated sheets. So they often do this mistake, okay? And at the end of the day now, after coupling, you see that the efficiency of the entire winding will go down. And then as the eddy current is flowing through this core, okay, it's also generating an amount of heat that will further be contributing to the overall heating of the equipment. Okay, that's why you see that uh, most times after rewinding, the equipment will be heating excessively because of that poor workmanship. So there are hydraulic extractors that we can use to extract all of this. And again, you see that at times when some of uh, these repair people, they use a uh, shizu, okay, and hammer to cut all of these, the ones that I would not want to burn. Okay, especially for smaller electrical machines, they will use a hammer and cut each of the winding close to the slot. Are you getting it? Close to the slot. In doing that, they may unknowingly injure or uh, damage the the lamination, some of the laminations at the beginning of uh, these uh, slots. Okay. And you know that once it is damaged at that point, you see that circulation current is possible during normal operations to be generated around that area that will cause heating of that area. And then gradually, at that spot, okay, where the circulation current is developed, you will see that excessive heat will be created in that area and gradually it will be destroying the insulation paper or lead that you use to line the the slot okay 
So, and that in addition to the heat that is normally generated in the winding, we definitely affect the integrity of uh, that insulation. And maybe if you go and use a material of a wrong insulation class, that will just accelerate accelerate the the damaging of that insulation of that the insulation of that material, and eventually the motor will start failing from such a spot. So once we are given the responsibility of repairing or replacing such wind, we want to know that each action we take, okay, in the course of our repairs will at the end of the day affect the integrity of the entire equipment. So we want to be very careful. Even as as you the root this router, if we do not handle it properly, as you can see, all of these are conductors. Okay, this is the shorting ring. Okay, these two end rings and these are the conductors. Are we getting it? So anything that affects this, we affect the magnetic field that will be created in this router. And we affect the integrity of the entire equipment. Okay, so we want to be very careful when executing that uh, any maintenance task, especially as it concerns rewinding, because all of this affects the integrity of the asset at the end of the day so this is what most persons do you see subjecting the entire equipment to heavy flame just to make it easier to remove these windings okay as you are doing that you are you are actually uh, reducing the integrity okay of all the core that is the core the materials that are used to produce the state of core okay so we want to be very careful so like we said before it also affects transformers and so if you look at it the transformer is damaged those three factors that we considered earlier the wrong sizing of the conductor at the end of the day the the use of uh, materials of different insulation class especially lower insulation class okay will affect the integrity of the transformer at the end of the day. then the poor workmanship the way it affects that of motor that is how it will also affect the integrity of uh, the transformers then as for generators you know they are similar with uh, uh, electric motors okay they have the stator windings but the only difference is that the router has its own winding okay in most cases that is where we have the field winding so the state of winding is removing them to the care that we need to take as in the first case we need to take it we need to use the right conductor size so as not to alter the resistance and the current carrying capacity of uh, these uh, windings as you can see okay because if you alter all any of those parameters you see that it will alter the efficiency integrity of the equipment are we getting it as we explained earlier okay so in doing all of this you have to use the right conductor size here even on the exciter uh, exciter mature and the exciter feed you have to use the right conductor size in the main armature you have to use the right conductor size in the feed winding you have to use the right conductor size okay then you also need to use materials of the right insulation class all of these materials this is little leather that you use to line these slots the one that you use to separate all of this winding from these spool shoes and the uh, this yoke of the exciter armature, all of those materials, they should be of the right insulation class. And the workmanship also is very, very important. Okay? You have to know that each action you take during repairs will affect the integrity of the equipment during operations. So if you look at these nameplates, these are nameplates. Uh, uh, information of uh, 
generators okay so you see that if you look at it you see that it has the insulation class f so all the materials that you will use in rewinding or replacing that bond winding they should all meet the requirement of that class f they should be class f materials okay okay if you look at here too the insulation class is f2 okay so all the materials you will use for this particular equipment should be class f materials then you see the amount of voltage so which means that the thickness of the insulation on the conductor or the type of material you will use okay will also be looked at critically because that will affect the amount of voltage that the material can withstand okay the breakdown voltage so we don't know what to use the wrong material when executing this job 